in the <coughs> <coughs> Did you know that your brown optical switches are broken? Well, don't worry, I didn't know either. Thanks to L Wizard, who pointed that out in one of my other videos, I went ahead and dove into some research on the optical brown switches. Turns out, they're too sensitive, so the click registers before it should. Let's fix that. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of So There You Have It, the series where I deliver small nuggets of wisdom over the period of a long life, living a long life, from living a long life. And this nugget is about the brown switches. The optical brown switches have an issue where they're too light or they register the click before the tactile bump. So you might have misclicked while typing on these, and you don't want that when you are replying to that very important email. Dear Prince Bob of Nigeria. Wow, can't believe, can't believe, can't believe you found my email. That is so random, but really cool. So we're gonna fix that. Let's look at how you fix that. It's super simple. You don't even have to open the switch. So let's look at it. All right, so what is the issue you might ask with the brown switches? They're tactile and they have this nice clicky feel. They're too sensitive. When you click the switch, you can see right here, there's a little circle and this thing that pops up here, this plastic piece, that's actually breaking the connection between the light that goes from A to B on the keyboard. So if we take just a random key out like that, get the switch out, you can see that there will be light going from this point to that point. And whenever you press this down, you break the connection of the light and when you do that it registers as a click now the thing is that it registers too soon when you use this and you start pressing it you can see that it's it's actually even before the tactile click it's gone too far and then it clicks clicks through so you might actually execute the click before you intend to the solution is super simple. You need an object that can fit through this tiny center hole. So let's just push here till this actually falls out of the switch housing. There it is. So the only thing you need to do to fix this issue is to remove the spring. And then make sure you put that spring somewhere safe so you never lose it again. All right, so when the spring is out, you just need to place this back in. So you don't even have to disassemble this. The only thing we need to do now is to put this in the correct way. And you can see the shape of this, it's round at the end, but it's also square. So you can only put this in one way. It's impossible to get that wrong. So put it in and then give it a push. Then test if it's working. The tactile feeling is still there but it doesn't click until I get that bump going. Here's the rest of the switches that I need to fix. So give me um, a few minutes here and I'll plow through them. Here are all my bank details so I can transfer the $5,000 to you and you can 
transfer the seven million dollars to me. Cheers, M. Ha! Seven million dollars for five thousand dollars. Sounds like a steal. Send. So there you have it. That's how you fix your brown switches for your Keychron K3. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Till next time, bye.